If you're looking for a natural way to boost your energy, reduce inflammation, and help your body detox, humic and fulvic acid could be the answer. These powerful nutrients can help clear out toxins, support your cells, and balance your hormones. In this video, I'll share how humic and fulvic acid can help to restore balance and improve energy production in your body naturally. And if you're new here, I'm Dr. Gayla Gorman, a licensed acupuncturist, naturopath, and author of What's Your Kryptonite? On this channel, I'm here to help you reverse the effects of chronic stress so that you can cruise through midlife and beyond symptom-free, so that you can put an end to common midlife symptoms like chronic fatigue, insomnia, mood swings, issues with gut health, and even weight gain. So let's get started by talking about how humic and fulvic acid works in the human body for detoxification. Well, to start with, it's most commonly used to bind to heavy metals. And so this is an example of a metal that it binds to that is in a research study. And they found that cadmium, which is a toxic metal that plants absorb in large amounts on occasion, which creates damage to them and also potentially creates damage to us as humans because it's then consumed in our food, essentially out of the environment. They used humic and fulvic acid this study found that using humic and fulvic acids, which are essentially natural substances that bind to heavy metals, significantly reduce the negative effects of cadmium on these garden vegetables. Garden cress was the thing that they were evaluating. So when they used it at a high concentration, the acids improved plant growth, reduced stress markers, increased essential nutrients, and lowered cadmium up uptake by 95%. So that's a huge reduction in potentially absorption, essentially, of heavy, heavy metals that I'm going to show you how we can apply to the human body as well. So the results suggest that humic and fulvic acid can be an effective way to manage cadmium pollution in soils and prevent the metal from moving from plant roots and leaves to shoots. And prevent those plants from essentially being toxic to humans as well. Even if the plant manages to survive it, whatever that plant absorbs, we're consuming. You may recall a moment ago in the introduction that I told you that it also boosts cellular energy. Studies have found that it can boost cellular energy up to 45%. I mean, that's a huge increase. It also has anti-inflammatory effects and that's no surprise, right? Because if it's binding to heavy metals and helping to escort those toxins out of the body, then of course it's going to have an anti-inflammatory effect. So if you're starting to think that you might want to try humic and fulvic acid and maybe you have not done that in the past, then it's important to know what the best sources of humic and fulvic acid are. So humic acid is found in soil, particularly wetlands. And so the wetlands are more nutrient dense or mineral dense typically. The fulvic acid typically is found in compost. And so as you can see, we're not going to consume soil and certainly not going to consume compost. These are essentially components of what is being used to grow our plants that we're consuming. So you can see that extraction is going to be required to make sure that these supplements are made safe and available for human consumption, since that's what I'm suggesting here. Heavy metals are one of 12 categories of toxicity I evaluate. I call them tricky toxins because they're often hidden sources of toxic stress. This is an example of one of the countless ways stress creates symptoms and other health issues, especially during midlife. I created a video that shows you how to eliminate these symptoms naturally, so I'll make sure to link to it below this video. But make sure you hit subscribe too because I share a lot of tips when it comes to dealing with stress that's become toxic. 
Relieving the nasty symptoms stress creates makes cruising through midlife a breeze. So maybe you're pretty convinced now that you want to experiment with using humic and fulvic acid, but you're wondering like really what are the benefits of supplementing with the humic and fulvic acid for detoxification? As I mentioned earlier, the acids are going to chelate metals and really any sort of heavy metals is going to be bound to this acid and moved out of the body if your pathways of elimination are open and working properly. So you want to be careful. We'll talk about more cautions in a moment, but you want to be careful because you're essentially adding minerals, but you may also be chelating out minerals. So sometimes these detoxifiers can bind to minerals in the process. And so you also want to be supplementing with some sort of mineral formula. We're also going to increase cellular energy production. As I mentioned earlier, the studies are showing that it can be up to 45%. And all of our body's regenerative processes require cellular energy. So this can be a huge game changer for you if you can get your energy production to improve. That's you know, a big contributor to some of these issues that women commonly face when they reach midlife and beyond. The other thing that women are often struggling with is establishing or re-establishing hormone balance. And so if there are hormone disruptors in the form of toxins, then pulling these toxins out will help to rebalance the hormones naturally because your body was designed to return to homeostasis, to regenerate, do all of its maintenance and repair. It was designed to go through even menopause without a problem. And so if you're having a bumpy ride through any sort of life transition or you're having thyroid issues or you know anything like that, it is a clear sign and pointing to some sort of toxic accumulation. What are some of the cautions if you're considering supplementing with humic and fulvic acid for detoxification? Well, we know that fulvic acid enhances the cellular energy production and again, thought to be 45%. So this is a pretty quick improvement of energy production, which means that if you have an accumulation of toxicity, you may detox too quickly. So you're going to want to be really careful and use a very small amount as you sort of acclimate to the process of your body releasing these toxins. You don't want to mobilize toxins too quickly, more quickly than your body can manage, because even if you could handle the reaction, it's putting too much stress on your body. As you can probably see when I described what the sources are and where these things are found in soil and in compost, it's really important that you're sourcing humic and fulvic acid from quality suppliers that have done a really great job of cleaning up any toxicity that maybe is residual. The other thing too to remember, I mentioned a moment ago about binding to minerals and needing to supplement with minerals, but these Acids also bind to medication. So if you're taking any sort of medication, you want to make sure that you are separating these things at least two hours from any dose of medication. And then you want to work with your prescribing physician to make sure that the medication is still effective. You definitely don't want to be increasing your dose of medication because you're binding it out of the body. Better to decrease the toxicity and work to titrate the medication, again, with the prescribing physician than to try to bind out the toxicity from a medication. So if your best efforts to live a healthy lifestyle and do all the things you've been led to think are supposed to work aren't getting the job done, you may even be feeling like you take two steps forward and three back. 
In my next video, I'll show you how to manage the toxic stress that's sabotaging your efforts. You can eliminate the symptoms that seem to be piling up in midlife naturally without medication, crazy diets, intense exercise, or any other unsustainable lifestyle hack.